coming to successive approximation type DVM that is another type of digital voltmeter the successive approximation type DVM uses the principle that is easily understand by taking one example suppose suppose if you want to measure the weight of an apples or mangoes we are taking the mangoes into one balance on other side we are providing the weights reference weight that is 2 kg or 1 kg like that 1 kg stone we are providing apples on other side after that we are providing stones on other side that is reference stone or weight weighing ba weighing balance or if you consider a balance weighing balance what how to measure the weight of object is suppose if you want to purchase 1 kg apple then they will compare the kg stone with apples that is successively approximation value if the weight of apples are equal to the unknown, the reference weight or 1 kg stone then you can it is a it is the total number of apples are equal to 1 kg like that the determination of weight in object how we are measuring how we are finding in an object that is the principle we are using success approximation type dvm the successive approximation type DVM uses the principle can easily understand by using some example determination of weight of an object by using balance and placing the object on other side an approximate weight on other side the weight of object to be determined that is the principle we are using how we are measuring the weight of an apples or mangoes or fruits by taking a kg stone one side and providing a fruits on other side then comparing after that they will give the merchant will give to you by comparing the weight the block diagram for successive approximate type dvm you can see here whatever be the unknown voltage we have to give for comparator the comparator fed by a reference source that is digital to analog converter and logic control and sequencer and a comparator we are using what is the purpose of comparator is to compare the unknown voltage with the reference voltage what we given 8 volts is the reference voltage we given for comparator the unknown voltage is fed to switch 1 and s1 when the switch s1 is at 1 unknown voltage will be connected and capacitor will be charged up to the some value 8 volts then it will give to comparator similarly the reference voltage also also connected to voltmeter by when the switch is positioned to 2 assume that it is a 2 now it compares the unknown voltage is with reference voltage then after that if it is equal then logic controller gives output digital display as a unknown voltage simply whatever be the voltage we given that compares with reference voltage after that it will display that is a successive approximation type dvm you can see the principle of operation of this digital voltmeter by using block diagram it consists of a comparator high voltage low low voltage or high voltage that is high or low one comparator output is connected to logic controller sequencer logic controller sequencer we connected we have to remember the block diagram of unknown voltage and comparator and digital to analog converter logic controller this is the block diagram of successive approximation type dvm the comparator used to compare the unknown voltage with the standard voltage or that is reference voltage the block diagram after that a clock pulse generator we are using a clock to start the logic controller and sequencer a digital display readout we are using seven segment display we can use for dvm this is comparing with reference to standard value hence it is known as sinks successive approximation type dvm we can see the working of uh, this dvm the comparator compares the output of digital to analog converter with the known voltage known voltage whatever be the we given the output input that is compared with known voltage according to the comparator provides logic high or low signals the again the compare positive comparison process will be continuous the digital to analog converter successfully generates the set of patterns of signals this comparison process will continues up to at what time up to the unknown voltage equal to known voltage then the processor continues till the output of digital to analog converter becomes equal to unknown voltage then the readout we can so you can see on the digital voltmeter dvm 
and this procedure will be continuous until the unknown voltage is equal to known voltage. The capacitor initially will be charged to 8 volts and comparator compares the unknown voltage. At each low signal there is an increase in change in the output of digital to analog converter. Simply we can say that successive approximation type compares the unknown voltage with the standard reference voltage.